Oh, he's the Doppler effect. Yes. It's the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. <laughs> Today we'll be discussing the Doppler effect. So here's the definition, according to the character from the Big Bang. It's the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. So what does this actually mean? I want to focus on a few key words here. Apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion. And so, just as the character demonstrated the sound associated with the Doppler effect, here is a Formula One car illustrating this as well. What we're going to listen to is the sound that a spectator will hear. And so, for this example, what was the source? Well, the source was the engine. What was the wave? For this example, the wave is sound. And the observer was the actual camera or mic or the spectator. Now the key word here is relative motion. There's relative motion because the car is moving towards and then away from the camera or from the spectator. Now let's listen to the driver perspective. The source, once again, is the engine. However, this time, the observer is the driver, or the camera or the microphone that's mounted to the car. Let's listen. Notice that there was no observable Doppler effect sound heard. Even though this was the same part of the track, I made sure to try to get the two videos to line up so that it represents the exact same part of the track. And so the Doppler effect was not heard. And the question is why? Well, the key word is relative motion. In this situation, the engine and driver are moving at the same speed. And so the key here is that there's no relative motion in this situation. The engine and the driver, the engine being the source, the driver being the observer, are moving at the same speed. So it's interesting. The driver will not hear the Doppler effect, the sound associated with the Doppler effect, while the spectators will. And it's all because of the relative motion. So now let's try to understand this in terms of waves with a simulation. Here we have a car that is stationary. And this is the wave pattern a stationary car would produce when its engine is turned on. This would be for a source or an engine with low frequency. And this is what it would look like if the engine produced a higher pitch or higher frequency of sound. So the circles represent the sound created by the engine. Each circle can be called a wavefront, or each circle, for example, could represent a crest or a trough. Now the wavelength is the distance from one circle to another, from crest to crest or from trough to trough. As previously mentioned, if we rev the engine, for example, then the sound changes, the pattern changes. And so if we compare the wavelengths from one picture to the other picture, notice that the second situation has a shorter wavelength. So what does this mean in terms of sound? Well, referring to the wave equation, frequency of a wave is equal to the speed at which that wave propagates at, or travels at, divided by the wavelength. Now, since in both situations the median has not changed, this means that 
the speed of the wave is the same for each situation. However, as mentioned, notice we have a shorter wavelength. Therefore, for the second situation, we have a higher frequency of sound, which means a higher pitch. So now let's put this all together for a moving car and see how the Doppler effect works in terms of the waves the engine creates. And so notice, in front of the car, it seems that the wavelength is shorter. And behind the car, the wavelength is longer. Now here's our observer, and I've placed the camera at more or less the same position where the camera was in the video you saw a few moments ago. Let's see what happens as this car approaches the camera and then passes the camera. So now the car is approaching the camera. And notice right around now, when those waves begin to hit the camera, when those waves are incident on the camera and obviously the microphone of the camera. Notice that the waves are all bunched together. That means it's a shorter wavelength. That means at that moment, a spectator standing here or the microphone will hear a higher pitch or higher frequency. Let's see what happens as the car passes that position. Notice that the wave fronts are further apart. The crests are further apart. Now the wavelength has increased. As a result, the pitch or frequency decreases. So as the car approaches the spectator, that spectator is hearing a higher pitch because the waves are closer together. The wave fronts are closer together. And as that car passes, the spectator, spectator standing right over here, notice that now the spectator is encountering waves that are more spread out, wave fronts that are more spread out, resulting in a lower pitch. Hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and explanation of the Doppler effect. Have a great day. Bye-bye.